The internet is a very interesting place. It is probably one of the biggest rabbit holes you could ever go down, and it's where most people get all the information they ever learn. With that being said, there are some very, very interesting websites, and today we're going to be looking at just one cursed website that I recently came across, and we're going to be exploring this cursed website that has a ton of easter eggs and just weird stuff going on. This website is called Windows93.net, and as the URL says, it is basically a fake emulator for Windows 93. Windows 93 technically is not a real operating system. It was never created by Microsoft, but basically these two guys made a fake Windows 95, so they just called it Windows 93. It's like one of those jokes that ended up going viral and a lot of people kind of just thought it was a real operating system, but it wasn't. This operating system was created in 2000 and <laughs> Wait, it literally says 93. But all jokes aside, Windows 93 was not actually created in Windows 93. This whole thing was created just to make you feel like you're using a computer back in the early 90s. But in reality, it was probably created somewhere in the early 2000s. I had a hard time finding the actual like release date of this website. I might just have a small brain, but it seems like this website hasn't actually been out for that long. It looks like it came out somewhere in the range of 2010 to 2000. 2017. So it's not that old. Just like you most likely have Windows installed on your computer, it's basically the same deal, just old. With that being said, this website is still very interesting to explore, and today we're going to be looking at some of the Easter eggs and some of the applications that are installed onto this cursed website. I'm not going to go over every single thing about this website because you literally could make an hour plus long video just on this. So I'm going to go over some of the favorite things that I personally found on this website, and the rest is up to you guys. It wouldn't be too fun if I just gave away all the great things about this website, so I will have a link to it down below. So when you're done watching this video, go ahead and check it out and have fun exploring. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at this cursed website. Welcome to Windows93.net. One of the first things that we're going to be taking a look at is actually called the Hydra.exe. If you guys look up what a Hydra means, it means a double-headed serpent or just a serpent with multiple heads. It's sort of like a, a monster created with Greek mythology. So with that being said, this is what the Hydra.exe does. As soon as you open it up, you are alerted with this. Cut off a head, two more will take its place. As soon as you click OK, sure enough, you have two more. And by the time you know it, you guys have a web page that looks a little something like this. If you guys just look at the bottom, yeah, it's pretty bad. If this ever happened on my actual computer, I would probably lose my Alright, so let's restart this website. Next up, we're going to be looking at an application called Defrag. A quick little explanation on what this program is supposed to do. It's supposed to basically relocate information on your hard drive to make it more efficient to use and to save space. Naturally, files kind of just go all over your hard drive and defragging lump stuff together where they should be. It'd be like having a thousand different pizza slices all in weird areas and not all connecting and then making those pizza slices into bigger pizza slices that correlate. That was probably an awful explanation of defrag, but anyways, now that you guys know a little bit more about it, let's take a look at this one. Alright, so welcome to defrag. Right here it says click start and use the arrows to mess around with the amount of fragmentation in your file system. Start. So yeah, it's basically the snake game. It's not even what it's advertised as being. It's literally just the snake game. Alright, so because I suck at this game, I haven't actually made it all the way to 100%, so I guess that's something that you guys can explore and see what happens when you guys hit 100%. Being that this website is full of actually entertaining easter eggs, it might be pretty fun to explore. Next, we're going to be looking at Beepbox. I forgot to mention that it actually says modded Beepbox. Not really too sure if that makes a difference to you, but oh well. This is actually kind of cool because if you guys don't have access to a program that lets you make beats, this website literally will do that for you. Alright, I'm not going to pretend like I'm DJ Khaled here, but yeah, I made a beat. 
Next up, we're going to be looking at speech. If you guys ever wanted to do text to speech, this is actually a pretty good website to use. It's kind of funny because you're using basically a meme website to use this, but yeah, you can even download and export everything. Hello, please subscribe to Premium of it. Wow, that's kind of crazy that it said that. I didn't even mean for that to happen. That was like just an accident. Sorry, guys. But anyways, you guys can mess with the rate. You guys can mess with the pitch. Very epic. Yeah, I couldn't agree any more, speech app. Let's take a look at the poke rainbow. So as soon as you open it up, you guys have an option right here to load several games. Right here, you guys can see that there's Super Mario and a bunch of stuff going on. This one's really confusing, and I totally could be missing something here, but... It's literally playing like four games at once. I didn't fully understand this one, I will admit, but it's definitely kind of cool to watch. So yeah, as you guys could see, it literally has four different screens on what's going on. And yeah, it gets confusing very fast. This is one of those topics that I highly suggest that you guys actually take a look at and explore because there are so many things to do. Troll box. All right, this one I haven't messed with at all, actually. This is gonna be new for me, new for you. Let's try it out. Ah. This website has a ton of copyrighted music I found out, so if you guys are noticing that there's no audio for the website going on, then I'm getting rid of it because I don't want to get copyright striked. It's not a fun process. Anyways, next up, let's look at SMS. So whenever you guys open this up, it gives you a bunch of different options to open. So we're going to do Star Wars because, yeah. Star Wars. As soon as you guys open it up, you guys will probably recognize this. If you guys have ever watched one Star Wars movie, this is going to look very familiar. There's actually a lot of Star Wars references in here, and if you guys think about it, back in the 90s, everyone was watching Star Wars. This website does a very good job at keeping all of the jokes and memes in the 90s era, which is why I think it's pretty cool. Dr. Marburg. I probably mispronounced that like usual, but anyways, let's take a look at it. Breathe in and out, please. Breathe. And then they want us to give them our credit card number. This one's interesting because I'm kind of surprised that they're able to even throw this on a website without getting taken down by some angry Karen, but yeah. This is a thing. We're gonna click never mind. I was just testing you. Okay, I've never actually clicked never mind, so this is interesting. Do the cleaning operation anyways. No virus detected. Wow. We were saved by Dr. Marburg. Let's take a look at KOF93. I don't know if that's actually referencing something or if I should understand that, but I don't. Anyways, as soon as you open it, this is what you see. It's pretty crazy, not gonna lie. I'm literally a car fighting a jacked wrestler. That is definitely roiding. Can't tell if it's a Lexus or a Toyota because of the two pixels there, but oh crap, it's a draw. Welcome to KOF93. I realized that there's probably a ton of references on here that I'm just not getting because of my age, but if you guys are getting some references that I am not, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. All right, let's take a look at Cat Explorer. I would assume this would be like Internet Explorer, but we have the little neon cat, and um, it's taking a while to load, kind of like actual Internet Explorer. All right, so that is enough of this application for today. All right, so let's take a look at FX. This one is um, interesting to say the least. You have a lot of effects to basically use on this website. And um, it, oh my. So yeah, that is FX. If you guys want to have a seat, yeah, this is FX. Um, it's interesting, and uh, that's about all I got to say. So Virtual Girl is very similar to this like paperclip thing that you guys used to have. It was basically like your little virtual assistant back like 10 years ago. I assume that Virtual Girl is just a spin off of that, but. Yeah, it's one of those things that you guys wouldn't want to download on your real PC. This website even has a little painter application that you guys could use, and you guys could even save these files to your desktop, so that's kind of cool. If you guys make just some random art piece, it just saves it as derp.png, and that's just one of the many easter eggs on them. If you guys ever needed a calculator and didn't want to go to like the Google calculator. You guys could use this one for whatever reason and I'm sure something would eventually happen. This is what my brain says every time I try to do math in my head. Anyways, that is the Windows 93.net website. 
This website has a ton to explore, and I had a lot of fun just exploring the few applications that I found, so I highly suggest that you guys find this website in the description down below and go ahead and check it out for yourselves, because we literally just went over the tip of the iceberg. You guys see what I did there? Yeah, it's funny because I've made a ton of iceberg videos, but yeah, we barely even touched the surface of this website, so go ahead, leave this video, and enjoy the website and I'll see you guys on my next video. Before you guys leave, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys are still watching because apparently you guys enjoy this for some reason. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys on my next cursed YouTube video.